They're beautiful cars here today. They are. They're quite, oh, oh. <laughs> backfired. <laughs> they are absolutely beautiful cars. This is a 1930 Model A Vicky. There were very few of these built, about 30,000 total. This car looks very original, and it is, but it's got a Model B engine with a high compression head, hydraulic brakes, electric 12-volt uh, system, and halogen lights hidden inside there. So one of the things I'm kind of proud of, um, my head hit, kept hitting the roof in it, so I'm going to show you the seat that I put in it. This seat is out of an old uh, Dodge, and it fits perfectly. I kept all the parts, but now I've got lots of headroom, and it's very comfortable to drive. Another option, uh, which probably doesn't come on the modern cars, it's got flower vases in the back. It's a very fun car to, to own and drive. This is a 1967 uh, Chevy Corvette Roadster. My wife thinks she's owned it, so she has her name out here. Uh, I've owned this car about 30 years. It's a 327, 350, a great car to drive. It was totally restored uh, 25 to 30 years ago. Well, I say it's my car because Chuck wanted to sell it, and I didn't want him to, so I adopted it. All that white, when you look at it, the first thing that hits you is the iron white wheels. And you have the paint, the paint stripe matching the tires. Hi, Steve. This this car is a 1925 uh, Model 95 Detroit Electric, uh, which I acquired only uh, last fall from uh, uh, Bill Mitchell, the Mitchell Corporation. The car had spent many, many years in the uh, Sloan Museum in Flint, and so when I got the car I had extensive work to do electrically and mechanically to make it work. I only got it running about two months ago, and uh, it's, it's uh, now in the garage along with my 1916 that I, that I also have. These are, there are not very many electrics on the road in this area. In fact, I'm probably the only two on the road uh, in this, right down in this corner of Michigan. I started this car in about uh, 2004. It took me two years to completely disassemble, sandblast everything, and repaint it and reassemble it all. And I, uh, in the summertime, it's never seen salt. It doesn't see salt. I put it away when the salt starts. Get it out in the spring. But I use it every day, and that's the history of the unit. So I've had it on the road since for six years now. Hi, I'm Steve Rode, also known as Captain Video. We're at the Motor City Golf Classic at the Barton Hills Country Club, and I brought my 1926 Model T that I've had since 1967. It's got a 2.3 uh, liter Mustang engine and powertrain, and it's a great uh, parade car. Hi, I'm Ben Lipinski of Westland, Michigan. This is my 151. A2. It's AM General. Uh, it's a historic military vehicle. They're hard to find. They're hard to see. There's quite a few of them. Well, my buddies that own them, and we have a really good time with them. And we go to a lot of shows and do a lot of different things. Next to me is a 151. This is called a 151 A2, and my son owns the A1. So they have three versions of the Jeeps, and they just built them a little bit better each time. What we've got here. It's a 71 Dodge Challenger clone. The car originally started out as a 318 car and has at its time become a 446 pack converted. Sports car. We've uh, basically we've converted this car over with a 
SK the front disc brake system on the car is aftermarket. The dress up kits on the car are all aftermarket. This has been around Ann Arbor for quite a while. It uh, was used to be uh, Marty Slinkers. I bought it from him. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I got this was gotten out the Reno at the auction out there. Yeah, it's been a good car and it hasn't had much repair. It's been fun. The car is owned by Jim and Shirley Brady. We bought the car in 02. Uh, this car came from California in 1970. The color is called Rose Beige. That's the Ford name of it, of the car. And to be honest with you, the reason why I have the car, my wife fell in love with the color. It's a 1963 Thunderbird, and it has a 390 en engine in it. And the 61, 62, and 63s were known as the Bullet Bird. If you look in the back of the car, the taillights are large round taillights. I'm Walt Blanchard from Chelsea. Uh, got the 68 Mercury Monterey Fastback. It's uh, got the 390 in it. I did a little body work on it and had it repainted, still uh, stock. Hi, my name is Ray Huber. I own this 1982 Chevy Corvette Collector Edition. I've owned it since 1999. Bought it with low miles, all original, and I just love it. This is Dan Reynolds. We live out in Grass Lake. This is a 1955 Thunderbird, the first year that Ford made the car. And uh, it has a 292 V8 and uh, automatic transmission and full power. We've owned the car about 11 years. The car originally came from California by way of the Dearborn assembly plant. And uh, it's a lot of fun to drive. My name is Ron Branham. I own this nice little 50 Ford. It's a four-door sedan. It has a six-cylinder with a, and of course, back in those days, it was a straight stick. We've had it for two years now. If you notice, there's the, uh, the old white whites are on it. I have fender skirts. And one thing that's kind of unusual with it is the sun visor on it. But it's a nice little car, and we have, we have a lot of fun, enjoy it going around to different places with it. These are fabulous. All right. And really nice um, variety, too. Well, this car is a 1911 Ann Arbor, and it has a magneto in it, which is not firing correctly. It's a Bosch number four from 19 something or other. So anybody out there that might know something about it, give me a call. Seventy Chevelle, 454 big block. Um, had the car about nine years now, and uh, I enjoy it. And uh, I've been with Barton Hills 33 years of my life, and this is, uh, I think, the fifth Motor City Golf Classic I've been out here at. And uh, brought my buddy's Mustang. He couldn't make it with us today. My wife brought that out. And it's a 69 Mach 1. Uh, got a little bit of a radical engine in it. And, um, we just want to bring them out. Oh yeah, like the car show, like the weather is nice and uh, it's been a good day and I'm counting and looking forward like to mine. many, many more. Sweet couple. Golf thing for the dinner? I I think it's like two thousand dollars. <laughs> I appreciate looking at all the old vehicles, and uh, it makes me want to have a bigger garage so I can have one myself. <laughs> I get like one of each. Get like a Corvette and a Model T and a pickup truck. Steve, thanks for giving me this opportunity to uh, uh, take a video of, of the Motor City Golf Classic cars that are being shown today. Uh, we've expanded a little bit, and uh, this is the second year that you're back, and I would first of all like to thank all of the classic car owners for taking their time and volunteering for a, uh, this Motor City Golf Classic, which uh, benefits the Department of Neurosurgery at the University of Michigan and its patients for education and research primarily.
That's why he moved up. We're just a bunch of individuals. We're just a bunch of individuals. I don't know if there's a horn in here or not. <laughs> cool. Yep. <laughs> oh, they're getting back at us now. Yeah, this is 1926. This car is older than you, older than me, older than your your dad. Yep. Oh, wow. No, this is a beautiful event and love the cars and everybody I've met has been fantastic. Yeah, I got that one. I like this one. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm here with Gene. We had a wonderful golf day. Gene, did you golf? I golfed and I want to tell you I didn't do very well. Oh no! But we had a good time. Oh, we had a good time too. Yes. But you know what? These classic cars are absolutely Aren't they? Aren't they nice? They add so much to the A nice event. touch. They do. Yes. Yes. It's the only one left in existence. This is so fun. I like the old classic cars. I like the old classic guys. This is a good way to spend an evening. Again, I just want to say thank you to all of the guys and gals who uh, brought cars today and uh, appreciate it very much, especially their time. It's like anything else, their time is very valuable. valuable. So thanks again, and uh, Steve, thanks for giving me this opportunity. He wants Harvey.